Ready? Ready to go. Perfect. It's Carl Hall from Punch Out Boxing and I am delighted to be joined by David Diamante. David, how are you? I'm great, Carl. Nice to see you. Great to be back in Newcastle. It is a fantastic show that looks to be been put together in the next gen matchroom show this weekend. Lots of entertaining fighters coming out of the Northeast, it seems. Is there anyone that you've got your eye on at all, David? Man, a lot of them, to be honest. I, I really am excited about them. Of course, Pattinson at the top of McCormack and Callum French and just a whole bunch of good guys up here and uh, can't wait to see them in action. I wanted to uh, to ask you as well. It's been, I think, just over 12 months now. How are you after the, the horrific accident that you had? I hope you're doing well. You look like you're doing well. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm working on it still, but uh, doing well, cracking on. And huge, huge events coming up this year. It feels like it's back-to-back -back weekends of crazy boxing. It feels like boxing's back for 2023. It really, really does. Is there any fight that's already scheduled that you're looking forward to this year? Well, there's so many. Listen, uh, in a couple of weeks, we've got AJ back in London. Can't wait to see him back. Of course, we just announced Canelo and John Ryder in Guadalajara. That's going to be an incredible homecoming for, you know, one of the one of the faces of boxing, Canelo. Um, of course, Katie Taylor calling out Chantel Cameron in Dublin. That's going to be an amazing fight. So there's a lot on the ledger and there's a whole lot to come, believe me. How do you see that Canelo fight going, David? It's a huge, huge event for, for John Ryder to be involved in, of course. It is, but I mean, I feel like John has, has earned his spot, and uh, I'm, I'm happy for the gorilla. You know, we've been doing John's fights for years, and um, it's, it's great stuff. I, I can't wait to see Canelo in Guadalajara. I can't wait to be in a ring with 56,000, you know, rabid Mexican fans just ah, going crazy for, for their hometown hero, Canelo. It's going to be amazing. I, we, it's, Guadalajara is a, is a city that we love very much, and it's a great boxing town, but to have Canelo there, man, the fans are some of the best. They're going to be making a lot of noise. Uh, it's going to be great. English fans and Mexican fans, both some of the best. So I'm, I'm very envious. I don't think I'll be able to get over there, unfortunately. I would love to see that, because I think it's, what, 10, 11 years since he's fought, he's fought in Guadalajara, I think, if I'm right. It's been some time. It has. Um, I wanted to get your opinion on Creed 3. How, how did you find it? I imagine you must have seen the finished product by now. I have, yeah. I went to the premiere in L.A. Uh, at the uh, Chinese Theater um, right in Hollywood. It was unbelievable. It was a great experience. And uh, I'll tell you, the cast are just great guys. A lot of real boxing people in the movie, as you guys will find out when you see it. But working with Michael B. Jordan, not only him as a director, but seeing him as an actor, uh, really top notch. And I really liked the movie. Um, I thought it was a really good film. So uh, I'm going to see it again with a couple people. When I get back to New York, they want to go see it. So we're going to check it out again. But it was a great experience and it was a whole lot of fun and you know to really be immortalized in a in a rocky slash creed franchise film is, is an absolute honor it's uh, i was going to ask you about that how how has your life changed i mean you you've been very very popular in boxing for some time now but it just seems that you go into these kind of upper echelons and you're up there with michael buffer of, of course and everybody's recognizing you are the the voice of boxing how does that feel well, listen, it's, it's, for me, it's just a big honor. You know, um, this is a sport that I love. I've loved it my whole life. I've worked in it for a very large part of my life. Put in a lot of work, as people know, people that know me know. And, um, you know, I think what's important, and I just, it's funny, because I was just talking to someone uh, who shall remain unnamed here, talking about this card, and, oh, you know, it's a next-gen show. To me, it does not matter. This could be the undisputed whatever championship of the world, and I want to take every fight the same way, whether it's a full rounder on a next gen show uh, or you know in a leisure center somewhere. It, it really doesn't matter to me because these fighters uh, put everything on the line, and to me, it's it's showing them the ultimate respect and the fact that I get to uh, to call out these guys and these gals' names in the ring. Uh, it's a real honor. So thank you for that. I just just uh, voted into the New York State Boxing Hall of Fame. Another great honor, um, and I. Was actually in a new thing that we shot last year in Mexico City. It's going to be very big, and uh, you can't talk about it yet, but you'll see it when it comes out soon. I look forward to that, and congratulations on those accolades. Um, we've got Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia coming up as well. Huge fights. Um, how do you see that one going? Have you got any sort of um, insight as to where you think that's going to go? Well, I love that fight. I mean, first of all, look, the lightweight division's absolutely on fire. I mean, most of these divisions are. There's sharks in every weight class, but that 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 135 specifically it's just it's incredible it's gnarly i mean you look at all the names there and two of the top are tank and ryan garcia so the fact that they're finally meeting i'm so excited for this i mean hopefully there are many other matchups to come at 135 but i think this is a brilliant fight i think any one of those guys could win on the night it depends on them it depends their game plan it depends how they perform and how they feel on the night i mean if ryan 
boxes, it could be a really tough fight for Javante. But Javante has that equalizer, and Javante can fight. He can box. He's smart. But again, Ryan's got the length. He's got speed. So he's going to have to. He's going to. He's going to have to box. And if he boxes, it could be a long night for Tank. But I, I think it's a great fight. I love it. I think either one of those guys could win. It's a fifty-fifty. What do you make of the kind of critics saying that Tank's trying to? Weight drain him to gain an advantage. Do you think? Do you think that is the case? Do you think Tank really feels like he needs to do that? No, I don't. You know, look, man. It's there's a lot of talk about a bunch of stuff. Really, what it comes down to is these two guys in the center of the ring mixing it up, and we'll see on the night. But gamesmanship's gamesmanship. Uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather was one of the best at that. You know, uh, Tank was under. Uh, you know. Uh, Floyd Mayweather for a long time, so who knows? Maybe there is some gamesmanship there, but that to me is is not. I'm not that interested in that. I'm more interested in what happens in the ring, and I think on the night both guys will be ready, guaranteed. It's going to be a, a cracking fight. Um, just finally from me, I just wanted to get your opinion on the 70-30 purse split between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Do you think? Do you think that's fair? First of all. Well, again, this is not for me to, to, to comment on because I'm not, I, you know, I don't deal with that kind of stuff. And th those guys can work it out. They've got great managers and uh, they know what they're doing. So I just hope the fight happens like the boxing fans. I'm, I'm with those I'm with those guys, the boxing fans. I just want to see the fight. So, you know, we want to see in boxing the best fight the best. Boxing does itself a disservice when that does not happen. So both of those fighters need to get in the ring. I really don't care who gets the split. That has nothing to do with me. Um, let them fight. Let's let's see the fight. Perfect, David. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to uh, seeing this huge show on the weekend and, and seeing more from you in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, I David. I really it. appreciate Absolutely, that. Thank yeah. you.